Uh, we've got some crack and cloud edge effect happening today. Me 5 kilowatt inverters doing 5,000 watts. Oh, look at that. The fan just kicked in. That's not bad, 11 o'clock. Yeah, so the fan hasn't kicked in all day, so yeah. So the, the SMA inverter is doing 5,000 watts. <clears throat> the PCM60X, just before I started this video, was doing 1,701 watt. Considering there's only 1,750 watt of panels, that's stomping it. And those batteries were pretty hammered yesterday and last night due to a lot of cloud. A bit of cloud edge effect happening there, no doubt. My power meter got red yesterday, so I got one got one day's worth of data. So in the first day, I used 24 cents worth of electricity on my just normal power. That's my the off peak or the hot water systems used two dollars and eight cents. I made 90 cents from selling energy back to the grid, and I used two dollars and 69 cents worth of electricity from the solar panels um, my MPP unit produced a dollar 59 worth of electricity um, so it's an average daily cost of two dollars thirty not bad a dollar 28 for a connection fee which sucks but you know you got to still got to be connected don't you because this isn't big enough so basically in one day I saved five dollars and fifty nine cents from my off-grid stuff so that's pretty cool and that's why I like it I can see day by day how much it all cost me I should note that my two older daughters aren't home at the moment so that two dollars and eight cents from my hot water should usually be about four dollars a day the hot water is a killer we haven't got um, the solar hot water system it's just um, uh, what 3.6 kilowatt unit so yeah, it sucks it down pretty bad so I got a $2.30 bill and that takes into account the 15% discount that the retailer gives me so $2.30 in total for one day so have a good one YouTube